In today's video, we're going to show you how to attack man coverage in Madden 24. We're in the Trips Tight End out of the New England Patriots Offensive Playbook. If you want to get my entire Trips Tight End Offensive ebook, join the Patreon today for just 10 bucks. It'll get you access to all of my Madden Offensive and Defensive ebooks, and I believe it's the best place to be able to become a better Madden player. Guys, Trips Tight End, and we're going to be talking about a couple of basic routes that really are effective for attacking man coverage. The first thing that I want to focus on here is understanding how to properly use your tight end in Madden. One of the reasons why you want to always utilize a tight end in a formation is because whenever they're playing man-to-man -man coverage, the tight end is not going to be able to be pressed. So what you're going to see here is I'm going to kind of set up just some basic coverage concepts here. And what we're going to do is we're going to have this tight end one-on-one. -on -one, and even though they're pressed up on the field, you're going to notice that this tight end is not going to get jammed. Every other receiver on the play is going to get pressed with the exception of this tight end. So when he runs this corner, we can freeform this or pass lead this up and over the top of the defender and give ourselves a chance to be able to burn man coverage over the top. The reason this is significant is because now the user has to have some safety help to be able to defend this. So they're going to have to drop a deep half defender over there on that left side. And this is where we're going to start to get into uh, the cover to man type of deal that you're going to see. Now, in Madden 24, one of the other things that is really important is a whip route. I think there's no better route in this game than utilizing a zig route to attack man coverage. And then from there, I also like to use motion snap slants. I think motion snap slants are decent. I think they are actually getting a little bit better. Um, knock on wood, I haven't had too many issues with them uh, after the patch. But as you can see right there, the zig works really well. Now, another little quick tip about attacking man coverage is you have to understand that the reason why people are playing man-to-man -man coverage. So this is pretty much one of the most meta blitzes in the game. It is this LB blitz, and the reason they're calling this is because they can potentially get double loop pressure, and they can have everybody manned up across the board. From a passing perspective, we need to be able to give ourselves time to be able to get our routes open. So we can also utilize uh, the running back as a blocker, or we could utilize a Texas route where we would maybe use a slant. And so what you'll see with this is now that Texas pattern is going to uh, beat man. Actually, didn't motion block that guy right there. Let me show you how to do that real quick. So all you got to do to motion block is when you motion the receiver, you're just going to want to uh, basically snap the ball as soon as he kind of gets to uh, just before he gets to the tight end. OK, so again, we'll have our coverage set up and then obviously the users in the middle of the field. So typically what you can do here is we're just going to slide protect to the left. We're going to put our running back on that Texas pattern. And we're going to block this receiver. We're going to snap the ball right about here. See, he's going to block that left side. And now we have plenty of time for this zig to be able to be isolated over there on that solo wide receiver side. So now we're going to kind of take away the ability that they have to blitz. And they're going to have to play a little bit more coverage. And this is where my uh, next route that I want to talk to you about today, it really comes in handy. And that is the sharp cutting post route. The sharp cutting post route, in my opinion, is one of the best man beating routes in Madden 24. And what you're going to notice with this sharp cutting post route that we get out of this play PA slot corner is he's going to cut sharp over the middle and he's going to be able to attack man coverage. Now, let's say, for example, that you have slot apprentice. Um, any slot apprentice, uh, you can use this same basic concept. So what you're going to see here is I'm going to utilize this slot apprentice post and it is a very sharp cutting post over the middle. And so it's going to give us a pretty good chance at being able to attack man coverage over across the middle. Now, of course, they get KOs, they get KOs. It is what it is. Um, but now the next thing I want to show you here is how you can utilize the slant route or a Texas route, honestly, for the most part, pretty inter interchangeably. And the Texas route is really good because of trip side in, you can motion block this receiver. So what you're going to see with the Texas route is that the running back also will not get pressed. So that's one of the real big benefits to him running that, that Texas pattern and using the running back to beat man coverage is if they're in a position where they're pressing you, right, to try to take away some of your concepts, maybe they're in a shaded down man-to-man -man coverage, a cover to man concept, then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to utilize this Texas pattern over the middle and essentially create a one-two read between your sharp cutting post and your Texas pattern to be able to find an easy read against man coverage. Now, the slant route is very similar to the Texas pattern, and the beauty of the slant route is it really helps in a situation where you might be facing press coverage. What the slant route is going to do is because we're utilizing it in motion, he is not going to get pressed. And so he's going to get a free release and be able to cut over the middle of the field. You're going to see right here he goes on his cut. And then you can easily possession catch that to make sure you don't get a knockout. 
Bidding man coverage is simple, and it really is all about having routes that force your opponent to have to adjust. Corner routes to the tight end, sharp cutting post routes, little whip routes here, angle routes. All of those routes are utilized to be able to attack man coverage. If you want to get my entire trip tight end ebook, join the Patreon today. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and it's going to get you access to all of my Madden 20 for offensive and defensive ebooks. Obviously, they just dropped a patch as well. And so we also give you access to all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks we drop while you're a member. Sign up today for just 10 bucks. You can head down to the description and click the link down below.